So how long has this pond been in here? I like turtles, but these are blandings. So these guys are an endangered species. I think it's important and that's kind of why I want to do this project for them. Plus, I just hate looking at crappy ponds like this one. Right now you have a Yugo. Uh-huh. For five grand, I could give you Can we get a, a Cadillac. A a cat, probably a Cadillac Escalade. Okay. Ten for a Maserati. Uh, well, <laughs> Approximately how long did it take this guy to do this? I would say three months. Three months. We're gonna fix this water feature in one day. Wow. So we're pulling into Discovery Cove, which is the Park District's educational center. And I was here seeing their monstrosity of a water feature a few weeks ago. So I have a meeting right now with Pam Otto, who I think is like the interpretive director for the Park District. And we're gonna see if we can't help them. We actually put a rainwater harvesting system in here a few years ago, but lost the bid to do this project. And now we gotta try to figure out how to fix it because it is not a good representation of water features. And kind of the thing that I'd like to emphasize with this is, it's always easier or always less expensive to do it right the first time than the second or the third or the fourth, which happens a lot of times. So all I know is it's not a running water feature. We're going to go see if we can help them and make it right. I'd love to do it for the city that um, we're a part of the community in, but we got to make sure we cover our costs at least. Let's go check this out. I know that they had landings turtles in here, which are super cool and endangered. Oh, it didn't. That's weird. So how long has this pond been in here? Unquote. Okay, so we opened in 2011. The pond was actually much larger. Over time, the turtles jumping in or you know sliding in, yep. abraded, mm -hmm. created a bunch of holes. So we had a bunch of leaks. Now the coolest thing is the Blandings turtles that you have in there. That's what there's, sold me because I love Blandings turtles. There's six Blandings and then there's a painted turtle that magically appeared one Let's day. Let's see if you use the right pump at least. We get, that's actually our pump. All right. Okay, so that's good. Right now that uh, that intake it, tube is totally clogged. This should be sitting in a skimmer. We got to put a wetland filtration in here for you, a skimmer. We got to put the right size pump and plumbing in here, which this is woefully inadequate for six, seven turtles, right? Right. I like turtles, but these are blandings. So these guys are an endangered species and they love wetlands and bogs. And the reason that they're endangered is that habitat loss. So having an educational center like this that actually could educate kids on their importance and adults as well, and the importance of protecting their, their spaces, I think is important. And that's kind of why I want to do this project for them. Plus, I just hate looking at crappy ponds like this one. You won't see any liner, you won't see any pipes, It'll be lower maintenance, it'll be bigger, and it will be more natural habitat oh, for Blanding's turtles. Fabulous. So this would be a winter project for us. Okay. If you could cover my expenses with this, I'll do it. Right now you have a Yugo. Uh-huh. For five grand, I could give you Can we get a, a Maserati? A cat probably a Cadillac Escalade. Uh -huh. Ten for a Maserati. Uh, well, plus these guys don't like to go fast, so I would say Approximately how long did it take this guy to do this? I would say three months. Three months. We're gonna fix this water feature in one day. Wow. Oh, that is so frustrating. They spent three months building that water feature. It's just frustrating because it could have been done right the first time. So many people end up going with a lower bid or a different bid like this guy, and then it doesn't work. And for us, it's just frustrating because we just want ponds done right, customers served right. That pond wasn't done right, the customer wasn't served right, and subsequently, a really cool nature center doesn't get what they should. So this will be fun to come back in the winter and rebuild this thing. So we just rolled up here at the Hickory Knolls Discovery Center. We're unloading all of our gravel, rock up front. Logistics is gonna be a little bit of an issue. Since this place is still open for business during the day where they're gonna have kids in here, parents, all that stuff. So they've got um, an incredible facility that they can't necessarily shut down for one dinky little turtle pond rebuild. So we're gonna have to work around it and hopefully we don't make too much of a mess. Well, we're excited. Today's the build day here at Hickory Knolls and uh, our department is in charge of maintaining all of these and uh, we're excited because our previous one had a lot of problems and issues with it. Didn't seem to uh, 
work as good as we all hoped it would. Pretty excited that Aquascapes is uh, putting this one in because we've had several throughout the park district and we always have good luck with it. What we're working on now is building a retaining wall inside this enclosure. Everything was all wood. You can kind of see the old framing. It's just plywood and studs. So we're bringing sand in here and I don't want that sand to push out against those studded walls and end up bowing those walls out or blowing a wall out. So we are reinforcing it on the inside of the enclosure with cinder blocks. So we just got the fabric in, the liner. Chris is just finishing up kind of the positioning of the aqua blocks in here. This feature is gonna be unique because there's turtles that are gonna be in here. We want this upflow system that's gonna push all the solids and waste and any debris that you know kids might throw in here. We want all that stuff to get pushed up to the top and direct it right towards the skimmer. Finishing up, kind of rocking in the pond area. Last step is getting the, the pond filled and doing some edge work. So we have a light, we're hooking that up right here. Um, and it's kind of just gonna drape down here and then this is gonna be their basking area. And that'll bring people up these steps and really up close and personal with these landing turtles. We haven't been here since this morning. I, you guys have made some great progress. Looks like you're getting ready to start maybe adding some water. It looks very impressive. I'm very excited to see the progress you've made so far and I'm anxious to see it work. So it's about, I don't know, it's late. It's dark out, we're tired, but it's definitely a wrap. We did this whole thing in a day. Like, I, I still can't believe it. It came together way, way, way better than I could have imagined. I love the waterfalls. You know, I think that turned out great. But the thing I love the most is the shape of the pond. I think the Blanding's turtles are going to love it. It just looks very organic and natural. We've got a bunch of wood elements. I mean, it looks like it's been here a thousand years. So what do you guys say? It's a wrap. You guys ready to get out of here, go home? Yeah, yeah let's go. Woo! Good job. Oh. Hey, nice job, guys. High five. Nope, psych. Okie doke. We are pulling back into this. We, Ed, I got Ed with me. Say hi, Ed. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, let's go see what these guys did. I know that they did good work because we trained them. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> so doesn't it feel good to be in management? <laughs> Where you can just see what the guys have done without having to do anything? I don't know, I like getting my hands dirty. I know, I'm I kidding. know, I totally do. Holy. Oh. Hey, the water's clear. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Pam. <laughs> I'll give you oh, a hug. Oh my gosh. You know, so is this what you originally wanted? Yes. You just should have went with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else we're, we're happy as happy is? Is this guy over here. So right? you're the Randy. maintenance guy. Randy I'm the maintenance guy. So you're happy? I'm very happy. All right. Very excited about the new feature we have. The guy showed up and knocked it out in one day. It's got a beautiful waterfall. It's all real rock and stone. Chris uh, was here. He showed me a lot of the features it has showed me the, the care and maintenance that it needs and it looks like it doesn't need very much at all. I'm looking forward to uh, working with it in the, in the future for many years. Real simple, this is a standard aquascape water feature. Biofalls on one side, skimmer on the other. Before they had a big box filter, they had a canister filter, they had a UV light. It was not natural. This is a natural aquascape ecosystem pond. Biofalls on one side, skimmer on the other, and then the beautiful artwork with the stones in between. All right, we got some turtles, guys. I thought you guys might want the honor of putting her in the pond. One hundred percent. Welcome to your new home with a nice log. Wow. great work here because I wish we wish that these kinds of places existed when we were growing up oh, but they really mm -hmm. didn't you know <laughs> and now this is a great facility the lobby is what people see when they walk in the pond is the second thing they see they're drawn to this exhibit by when the sound of the water probably most strongly is the draw of the turtles 
uh, knowing that we've got a pure environment that's also good for their well-being. And we have exactly what we've been dreaming of for, for the last several years. The bottom line here is you're happy. Absolutely. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad you're happy. It looks beautiful. Let's make sure that the turtles are happy in here. And uh, whatever you guys need when it comes Looking to water, forward. You know who to call. So we put this in in 2011. 2011, yep. Two guys, two days. Yep. <laughs> we did it in January. It was winter, it was brutal. Yeah, so it's a rain exchange system. It's a 1,500 gallon reservoir. So we're taking the water off of the roof. There's a downspout that comes in somewhere along here. I forget, I think it's right over there. And it goes into an underground reservoir. Um, that reservoir then overflows and it goes down the okay. slope that way to like into a rain garden. So the bird life here is just over I, the top. When we walked up there were tons of birds. But what I love about this is two days. Two days. Unbelievable in January. Two guys. And Randy was yep. like, was like, yeah, we've never done anything to it. They've never filled it with water. It just runs 365 runs. for what, seven years now. For seven years. Pond's done right, customers serve right. And that's what the motto of the certified Aquascape contractor is all about. This was not a pond done right or a customer served right and ultimately cost them years of frustration and more money, way more money in the long run than just hiring somebody that knows what they're doing the first time. So anybody can build a water feature, but will that water feature work, look good, function? Is it beautiful, low maintenance, and enjoyable for the consumer? And that's ultimately what we want to do. So you got an oxy pond at home? I do. And who built it? Uh, I did, but with all Aquascape's products. I like you even more. So hey, if you like this stuff, if you like turtles like me, if you like seeing ecosystem water features, if you like meeting cool people like Jen who built her own Aquascape pond, like, comment, and subscribe. And every single day, you'll meet new ponds, new people, and even sometimes new turtles.